Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs. And today we are here to work on some Dollar, um, dollar General items, actually. I almost at the wrong place. Um, these are items that I bought on clearance um, for the fall, once they got rid of all of their fall things. And um, this was a plaque. If you haven't seen that, check out my Dollar, um, dollar General haul that I just did. And you'll see most of these items there. The other thing that I have, that is also a clearance item. I got this from when they got rid of their summer um their summer items and their spring items. Is this really pretty um metal cage? And what I did with it basically is that I gessoed it. So I gessoed the front and the back. Now I have um ugh, like this doily right here. It's all stuck together because I use um I use some paint to basically get some texture on here. So I just kind of laid the doily out and then just basically ran through it with some of this deco art Americana decor texture. Um, and it's like a really thick, heavy body paint, a little bit heavier than like regular heavy body paint. Um, and it grips it gives great uh, texture and dimension when you let it when you know when you let it dry properly. So I have all this texture going on. Hello, hello, Tanya. Hello, hello, Sasong. <laughs> um, and then after I basically let that dry, I did kind of go over with my own little DIY um, gesso and just kind of whiten the whole area out. This is the natural color of it. And this is what it looks like now. So basically my idea, once I started kind of trying to like figure out what it is that I wanted to do, was to basically grab the bird because I'm trying to figure out like, what can I add on here? And I had a gajillion ideas. Um, but then I also have this bird that I've been wanting to use for a while and I haven't had the chance to use it. So I figured why not? So I'm thinking about doing something like that and I'm going to keep the hook and I think I'm going to keep the bird on it as well. I still have one more that I can alter differently at another time. Um, it also, it also has like a different shape of the cage. This one's kind of more rounded out. So basically I want to do something like that. And I have here like some trims and um, some little wood veneers and just a whole bunch of little brick racks and just things like that. I thought it was you. <laughs> it does that, you know, my phone does that. And my phone does not discriminate. Come a certain amount of time and be like, click goodbye. <laughs> you know how that goes. <laughs> Um, so basically we have some little wood chips. I think this is, these are like from Dollar um, Dollar Tree. I also pulled out some of this um, Celebrate Noel trim. I think I got this on clearance at Hobby Lobby, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not even sure, but it looks really nice. And basically I took a nice little chunk of it and I cut it in half. And there's another piece of this somewhere. Hopefully I find it in time. Oh, here it is. So I cut out two different, uh, I cut out the pieces, you know, kind of wavy and kind of like, you know, all weird and stuff. So we did that and I pulled out some metal flowers and just like a whole bunch of like little paper flowers that I had made over time and that I still had to kind of use. So like a whole bunch of like handmade little flowers and stuff like that. And I'm going to just use them all up in here and kind of like glue them all into place and get that going like that. <laughs> I told you I'm not ready yet. <laughs> so um, that's basically what we're gonna start with. So the first thing that I'm gonna start doing, actually, is I'm gonna start gluing in the rest of the elements where I want them, because I'm gonna be just doing the rest of it, and then I'm gonna be adding colors and paints and stuff like that. And some of the colors that I pulled out for today are this Decor Americana baby pink, super um pretty very. And I have this one, which is Americana multi-surface satin in the dark scarlet. So I like that. And then I have some white here in the chalky finish. All different kinds of paints going on today, you guys. And we also have um, some Glamour Dust Ultra Fine Glitter Paint in black. The color is actually black ice. And some regular um, Americana Decor chalky finish in the color carbon, which is kind of like a very dark, dark gray. It's not necessarily completely jet black. And then we have uh, my DIY paste right there. And I also have here some lusters on the side. 
We have Fab Fuchsia, we have Brilliant Turquoise, we have Silver Spark, we have Gold Rush, and we have Coral. I'm not sure where I'm going to go with it or where we're going to end up, but I'm ready to take this ride if you're ready to take it with me. <laughs> you keep hearing it. I don't even hear it anymore. That's sad, right? <laughs> I don't even hear it anymore. So um, let's go ahead and just start building kind of like our clusters. Let me go ahead and move this up. And this is going to be hung up from the top. I didn't take the corking that I had on. I basically, I, I figured I can use that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding some of these pieces first. Kind of seeing where I want them to be. And then where is, this is heavy gel medium. I just took it out of the tubing and basically put it in this little easy square bottle. And this is from Deco Art as well. Not the bottle, but the glue. <laughs> hello, hello, 1221. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry, but I forgot your name. You're going to have to keep reminding me a few times and I'll get it. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and start um, laying down our mesh first. So again, since I'm going to be doing some layering, I want to make sure that I have at least the very, very bottom layer uh, on first before I start going, um, you know, adding the rest of it. So I'm just going to add some of this. Again, this is heavy gel. We'll see how much we're going to need. Do -do -do -do. And I'm just going to grab a very beat up brush. Just kind of spread that gel out just a little bit. We'll add more as we go. And this is what I love about finding those little bargains, um, especially for items like this that you can alter. And yes, I do. Whenever I have the chance, if there's more than one, guess what? More than one is coming home. <laughs> Ada, C, C, Ada. <laughs> I remember a lot of everything else. I just, the, the name for some reason, I couldn't uh, capture it all the way. So let's go ahead and add some more. And I have my glue gun there just in case I need it. Let's go ahead and add this to the bottom. Now, I did pull out both silver and gold because as pretty as this is, I might try to cover a little bit of it up. I'm not sure yet. And maybe add some other iridescent colors to it. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> You know, you should know my phone by now. My phone is like complicated. It has feelings. <laughs> it is as emotional as its owner. Quick to click and be like, that's it. No more talking to you. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, father, it's yes, man. <laughs> okay, wait. I was putting it the wrong way. I think I did put this the wrong way. This was supposed to go here on this side. This is supposed to go on this side here. I gotta glue the top of that. And this is supposed to go down here. See, already. Already. Like so. There we go. Put that mesh with the edge. Basically making sure that it's all tagged down. And this is one of those projects that I totally get my hands dirty. Hello, hello, Zeus. Long time don't see. All right, so 
stay, 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 stay. There we go. Come on, grab on, grab on to it. Please, please, please grab on to it. I can't wait to see what this is going to look like because, you know, my mind it never really reveals to me what the final outcome is going to be. It just, you know, puts me on this, like, you know, finding frenzy. Like, look for this, look for this, look for this. Oh. <laughs> like I said, use a beta brush. <laughs> That way, when stuff like this happens to you while you're live, you won't be so embarrassed. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's put that there. Let's bring this up here. Put that down there. I'm trying to get it right flush to that edge as much as I can. I'm not really too worried about this part here as far as like making sure that everything is glued down because I'm going to be adding other layers to this so it's going to get filled in either way. So I wanted to work on this bottom part here because this is where most of the flowers are going to go. Thank you, thank you. Hello, hello, Deb. How are you, love? Me or... <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start adding some of our elements. I've got here some wooden elements, Dollar Tree chipboard, um, some trims that I don't know if I'm going to be incorporating them on the cage itself or I'm going to add them to the, this little wooden plaque that I have here. Hopefully, I have it more than enough in frame that you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this. Like I said, I have a whole bunch of like little handmade flowers and stuff, flowers that I didn't even get to finish. And I just had them kind of like just sitting there for like almost a year, if not over a year. So I'm just going to finish using them up. I have used up some of them here and there, but I'm just going to go ahead and glue them all in place and kind of start getting that part of it going. And then we have some metal ones as well that we're going to be incorporating. Okay, so let me go ahead. And I already have some gel medium here, so I'm just going to stick these babies kind of like already on there. I'm gonna do the same thing to the top, I think. Since I already have that gel medium there, might as well use it, right? So let's see. Okay, 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 you guys, okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, where I put the glue sticks? Yes, metals. We are going to be working with some metals today. Let me just push the leaves up a little bit so that they don't buckle on me. Let's just kind of add that one right there. And let's see, let's start adding in some of these. And again, my cage that I've altered, well, I haven't altered yet, but I'm gonna be altering is this one right here. So I just wanna make sure that I know where I'm putting this part of it so that I know how high I can go with the flowers. And I'm just gonna bunch them in because I'm gonna be jesting over all of them anyway. Ah, no, don't stick to that. Right 
And right now I'm just adding stuff. I'm not really quite sure where we're going with it, but I'm just adding, adding, adding. And we'll figure out the rest as we go. Again, I'm gonna be just sewing most of everything here. I'm gonna be just sewing it in um and white. Let me just break off a little piece of this. It's not really working with what I'm trying to get it to do here. There we go, that's better. All right, <laughs> we gotta break some stuff every now and then, you guys, in order to make stuff work. Yeah, I got white gesso. That's what I've made. I am gonna go into with some darker tones because I did pull out my black paints and stuff, but I'm gonna be doing those as like accents, if you will, to make some of the stuff kind of like stand out. Let's see what other flowers I have here. Again, a whole bunch of assorted little little flowers. My hands are all sticky already. See how gunky they look? Oh my goodness. That's because of the matte gel. That's one of those mediums. I really don't like how it feels. I can deal with some glues, but this one is uh, a little annoying. <laughs> so sticky. Okay. Let's just keep adding. Just keep adding flowers. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. It's not needed there. Just keep adding some flowers here. Yeah, that happens to most. <laughs> that happens to most people at least once or twice in their glue um glue gun experience. It's almost inevitable. So. My glue gun is shutting off on me. That's why it's like all cool. It's like not wanting to stick. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's keep adding. <laughs> it's like I'm attached to this thing. All these little glue hairs all over the place. Is it on? Yes. All right. Let's see. Let's keep adding, you guys. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. maybe that. Let that glue gun heat up. In the meanwhile, let me just go ahead and add a little bit of this matte gel here and there, just to make sure everything is everything. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so let's see what else do we have. I already put these in there. Yeah, maybe I do. Let's see, where am I going to put this? There we go. What the heck is asking for water with a canteen? Okay, little thing, go in. Don't get flimsy on me. There we go. There we go. Let me heat blast this thing real quick, just to make sure everything kind of sets up nicely. Then we're going to add the rest of the metal ones and some of the rest of the other things that I have there. I want some of that glue to kind of disappear off of there.
Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> we added some of those wood pieces. I don't think I want to add any more. I did. I was thinking of adding this clock piece in there. Which I think I still can. 12 o'clock is where? Here is 12 o'clock. Let's add this little clock in there. I like that. Let's see, let's see. So we have that one there. Do we need any more of these? Move these things up so that I can just have the base touching the base. Put this one in there. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? What else do I need to do to this? Let me see. I like that. I like that. I like that. Um, dang it, I ripped the flower up. Let me see. Yep, leave that one. Leave that one right there. Leave that one right there. Okay, so we've done that. I'm not going to do this. I do want to gesso these bowls because I'm going to put these bowls on there somewhere. So I'm going to just go ahead and gesso these real quick. I have two of them. And I'm going to gesso both of these bowls. And since I'm gessoing all of this, I might as well gesso the bowls right there too. So that's what we're going to do. Let me go ahead and... um. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Because I have something here that I want to add into this. A little bit of caviar. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome, awesome. Where is the glue? Here it is. So let me go ahead and add a little bit of this caviar. We're gonna set dry this real quick. And most of it is not going to stick, but some of it will. A little bit of this caviar. Let's see. Let's see. A little bit of this caviar right here. And that is not what it's called, you guys. Don't go on Google looking for caviar. You're going to get the actual thing. <laughs> That's just what I'm calling it. I want to see what this looks like once it's all, like, you know, dried in there. So I'm going to heat blast this and try to get them to stick as much as they can. I'm going to put some in the top as well. Some of these are going to fall off, it's inevitable. But I just wanted to catch some. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same up here and kind of ice this up as well. And you can do this with hot glue, which will probably yield a um, somewhat better result. Or with paste as well. I just like finding things and using them. The odder, the better.
That should be a lot of yummy texture right there. So let's let's try to heat this up. Let me put this out of the way in case that, that ends up melting. Let's try to dry this up a little bit and then we'll see where we go. Like I said, some of them are gonna blow away. It's inevitable. It's almost like adding micro beads to your projects. You could probably buy them online on eBay. Just look for them by millimeter, you know, however small and tiny they are. That might um that might be able to yield you, you know, better results. But I'm pretty sure that they do. Same thing, seed beads, micro beads, it's just a little tiny smaller, but that's the same. You can also use sand, coarse sand. It'll give you the same, basically the same uh, result texture wise. Kind of keep moving this around because you don't want to set it too long. Then everything starts to kind of, you know, burn on you. So make sure you keep that glue gun moving. I mean, the heat to uh, move it around. Don't leave it stuck too long in one place. Look at that in Amazon. Yeah, I think you should still be able to find them. Worst case scenario is that you'll have to wait a couple of weeks for them to arrive. But if you buy it in bulk, then you might, you know, it might be worth the wait. These are like little, um, they look like little pellets. They're kind of got cut in like little rounds, uh, almost like a saga, but not all the way. They just look like little tiny little pellets. But I use anything and everything, especially since I can cover it up with gesso. I'm like, hey. So that's what I'm going to do now. That's where we are now. We're at the, let's cover it with gesso stage. And then we're going to start adding some color. And we're going to start decorating our bird cage and just seeing where it goes. I'm not really quite sure how shabby I'm going to go with it. Um, but I know that's definitely in. So we'll see. Let me just pick up some of this gesso. Let's pick up some of this gesso. And anything that feels loose, now's the time to reinforce before you start um gessoing everything down. There we go. So let's keep on keeping on. Oh, that's not all the way dry. That's not all the way dry. It looks it, but it's not all the way dry. So let's see. Again, I'm not gonna cover the whole entire thing, but I do wanna tone some of this silvery part down. Just a smidge, especially these edges. I'm gonna have to heat it up again real quick and see if I can get this to dry faster. My flowers are good to go. Let me turn this over. Let's just gesso up all these flowers. 
I had somebody tell me about spray on just so I need to figure that baby out. I need to try that. Spray on gesso. What? I need that in my life. Especially if it'll put it white for me. Even better. Even better. It'll make the whole canvas white for me just with a quick little spray over. I would love that. When I heard that, I said, what? They got spray on gesso. Jeez, they think of everything. I never heard of that before in my life. I never heard of that before in my life, you guys. Spray on gesso. I need the car to come out with something like that. So I can test it out. I know, right? And everything else. You're not lying. And everything else under the sun. So I like I'm totally cool if the paper crunches up. It's all gonna look like a massive texture anyway. You're gonna be able to see some of the flowers, but you're not gonna really be able to decipher all of them for the most part. Because everything's just too crunched in. But I kind of like it like that. Especially since I use like, you know, any kind of paper. I use all different kinds of scraps to kind of do these um, flowers. So there's all types of paper in their packaging. <laughs> everything. Everything, everything. Okay, so... Go ahead and finish this up. Heat blast this really quickly. Again, try to um, encapsulate some of these things, even if it's with the gesso. As long as they stay there, we're good to go. And because of the gesso has um, glue in it, it also serves as an adhesive. And I'm kind of smashing the flowers up on purpose. Again, to give it texture, give it movement, distress them a little bit. Let's do these leaves. Hello, Carla. Welcome, welcome, welcome. To some mixed media live. Today I'm altering some Dollar General finds. Well, I'm going to be altering Dollar General finds for a while because I found quite a few. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to be doing all kinds of fun canvases and shadow boxes and stuff. That's what I have in store for you guys because I got to use up those things. I don't want to just put them in storage, I need to use it. All right, so let's see. So unlike that, let me just just so this one up a little bit better on the other side because I did miss a lot on this side and I got to do the leaves as well. So pardon me if I'm out of angle. I shall soon return. I'm here fighting with this thing, you guys, because it's so long. <laughs> let's see. Covering up these leaves. Then we're going to be applying some heat to this baby, getting this ready. And then we're going to be doing the best part of all, which is adding some color, you guys. I cannot wait for that part. Yes. So this is what we're looking like so far. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Hopefully you guys like it too. I'm going to go, ow, I burned my finger. <laughs> Put that over there. No, blue stick, come back. <laughs> okay. Hello, hello, Lulu. Como estas? Como estas? So let's go ahead and heat blast this baby. 
and get that part ready. I also have to, um, like I said, I have to do these little bowls because I want to add them to the birdcage. I think that it looks look super, like super cute. So let's do this real fast, as fast as we can. The little pellets of plastic, they melt. <laughs> Note to self, careful and do not burn the plastic little petal. Hey. Oh, thank you, Dad. And I'm, I'm gonna be adding like watercolored, like, you know, watered down paint where the crystals are to see like how it looks. What do you guys think? Should I go dark inside and light outside or light inside, dark outside? Let's see how many votes we got. I can either start it with the pink or with this dark scarlet. Either way, it's still gonna have both colors in it, but um, this can be the center or this can be the center. What do you guys think? Oh, yes, I'm totally going to be blending. But should I blend from the dark in or from the light in? You know, like blend outward, obviously. The gesso's dry. I'm just trying to make sure that the glue that I put in here is more or less dry. I don't really trust that glue too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add, um, I really wanted them to stay clear, but I'm not really trusting that glue. Well, maybe it's just because I put so much of it. Maybe if I add more to just kind of like fill in the little gaps. Maybe, maybe. It's this part right here that's not all the way dry. So let's see if that helped out. Dark, ooh. Light in, dark out, ooh. Either way, I like it, I like it. These are pretty good. Yes. As long as it still looks milky, then it's not all the way dry. When it's clear and translucent, then you know that it's all the way dry. But I think this is gonna be as dry as I'm about to allow it to be. And I'm gonna start adding color and continuing to let that dry. All right, so let's start adding some color, yay. Well, I continue to let that, you know, that end kind of dry up. I'm not gonna add nothing there till a little bit later. Let me grab a brush. Okay, I got me a big old brush. So what do we have? We said dark to light like a fade, yes. Yes, what New York said, <laughs> okay. So we have, what was it? Dark to light, okay. So let me add a little bit in the center here. 
I'm going to start with this dark scarlet. I'm just going to add a little bit here. I have a lot of texture happening here. So it's going to take me a little second to get into most of those grooves. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of pink along the top. A little bit along the bottom. Let's add a little bit of white along the sides. Just a little bit. A little bit more on the center. A little bit of whatever excess paint I have in here as well. And the crystals are flying off. Staple it when you're getting close to the crystals. Don't just wipe it. That's what I've been doing, and that's why I've been ripping them off. You got to dop it down. I need some black. I'm about to add some black in here. Oh, no. Now, you guys know I like my colors to be like Mod Podge, different stuff, right? I tend to blend a whole bunch of colors together and just allow colors to kind of do what they want to do. This will not be the exception. Is up now. A little bit right here. I'm going to use the back end of my brush just to kind of pick up some of that texture. And where's the black? That's what I want to do it with some black. This is why you have a cat. <laughs> Let's work, right? I bet. My dog is always trying to go outside. All right, so I'm going to add some carbon and I'm going to apply it the same way, basically, which is through the flat side of my brush, just picking up a little bit. Just blending those colors together so that I don't have, you know, to worry too much about that. So, very gently, if you will, I'm going to be adding some of this black back into it. Looking like mud a little bit, but I'm okay with it. 
Once I add everything else, it'll all make sense. Let's get some of this black and put it on the flowers and everything as well. We're going to be covering up most of our area first. Just using up all that paint that I have on that brush. A little bit more. Okay. Let me mix a little bit of that red color with that black color. Just a little bit. Just kind of pouncing that color in there. What you guys think so far? <laughs> this is what I do, Tanya. Why are you surprised? This is exactly what I do each and every time. One thing you can count on is that. <laughs> that is the one constant. Now we're going to add a little bit of white, but I'm going to dry this first before I add white to it so that I don't keep blending colors. Now we're going to try to bring that kind of die down a little bit of everything that's happening here. Let's try to dry this up. <laughs> Thank you, Jojo. You getting a Valentine's vibe? Yeah, kind of, right? But we got, we got more colors to add in here. It's not just going to be red and pink. I have a little bit of turquoise. That should throw it all off. And make you wonder, <laughs> like, where the hell are you going with this? <laughs> so I said, I turned it off for one second. <laughs> well, don't do that. You don't really have to do that. Like, oh, that's too much. That's too much. What happens when you don't apply with the flat side? But you gotta go in with this the flat side. And we still have metallic waxes to put on here, you guys. But this is how I like my stuff to look. I like it to look like it's a whole bunch of layers. That you have no idea where I started or where I ended unless you watch me do it. <laughs> Things that make you go, hmm. And my overuse of color, right? Never fails. Now I'm just going to use up some of this paint that's here and finish using up all this so that I can start gluing on the other stuff and start working with the other stuff that we're going to be adding in here. But before I do that, we need to go in with some metallics. So let's see what we do. Again, this whole thing is going to transform before I'm done. 
that's usually what ends up happening. That's why I hardly ever worry, I guess. Maybe because it always ends up changing to something that I'm like, okay, I kind of like it. <laughs> yes. Metallics all the way. You just give this a quick little once over. All right, and again, we're gonna be putting this, right? This is gonna be here. So we're gonna start kind of dressing this up and I think it looks nice overall. I, I'll make sure not to overdo this part or at least keep this like kind of goldish so that it's still nice and bright or maybe silver. What do you guys think, gold or silver? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Um, where's my other ones, right here. So I don't think I'm gonna go so much with the fuchsia, right? And the turquoise, I kind of like, but I don't know if it'll actually go into anything. But maybe I can just add it like here and there, like on the flowers and stuff. Let me get that tissue that I just had. What did I do with it? Silver. <laughs> Welcome to the world of Carmen drives Tanya crazy every time she does mixed media. <laughs> There's always somebody in the background saying, no, why did you do that? All right, so we said silver. All right, so we'll go with the silver. So I'll do the cage in silver so it stands out. Right now I'm going to just add a little bit of this metallic wax, just a little bit here and there. That's my motto all the time. Just a little bit here and there before you know I done covered the whole thing. <laughs> it kind of looks like a bluish because it's mixed in with some of the paint. And again, I don't I'm not too particular. I just add it. That's what I does. I just add it. This is why I say it, it always transforms into something else. That's why I just don't have plans anymore. I just get on here and say, okay, I'm going to do this <laughs> and just start. Because it never turns out exactly like I thought it was going to turn out. It always comes out somehow differently. So it's like I stopped planning. Okay, let me go ahead. I think I am going to add a little bit of that fat feature just to bring a little bit of that. Um, Let's see what I have coral. I don't know if coral is going to be pinky enough. Eh, let's try it. Right? Still harming trying it. Where's the tissue? I got to go buy me some rags. Or make some rags, I should say. So the brush is dirty, so it's going to, you know, kind of taint up. the color a little bit. It's going to make it a little bit, you know, kind of dirtier, if you will. But again, I'm okay with all of that. I just like to play and have fun. I don't hold myself too, too seriously. All right, let's go ahead and add some silver. So this equation, we'll grab another brush for the service. I don't stain that one up. I really had a question. Are those sticks on your nails or polish? My nails? Um, they're gelled over, if that's what you're asking, like if they're shiny, they're gelled over. But these are um, poly gel nails. I did them myself. I basically, you know, put the stuff on and follow the stuff and do the stuff and I end up with this stuff. <laughs> yes, it's poly gel. I actually just ordered one, um, came in the mail today. 
It's this one right here. Well, this is the one that I ordered today. It's model once. Like the word model and once. And it's a poly poly nail gel. This one's clear. It's 50 grams. Um, and basically I, what I use is the little papers, you know, the little nail shape papers that they use in the Chinese place. Or the place where they do nails, not just Chinese people do nails. Um, so I use those little papers, those little sticky papers, and I build it myself. <laughs> Girl, you explain it. You're the one that does nails for reals, for reals. <laughs> Tanya just made a video where she's sharing like how do you act, how you actually like mix the gel with like glitter and put it on your nail and stuff like that. So if you want some tidbits on that, go check that out for sure. Because I'm gonna be trying that very soon. That's why I ordered the big two. <laughs> Okay, let's see. What do I think? Where's the strength? It's over here. Sorry, you guys. I just have to stand this up for a second. I have to see where I'm going with this thing. See what I like, see what I don't like. Okay, let me go ahead and um color this thing up. Yeah, I got the two. <laughs> oh, nice. Why? Just get nail glue, Zep. Just get some nail glue. Acetone can always take that off. So let's see. This is very, very dry. I'm trying, trying. Maybe I'll just paint the whole thing white because I'm trying and it's not, um, it's too dry. So I'll just paint the whole thing white. I think that'll be easier for me. So that's chalky paint that I'm using to paint this whole thing because it's got some tooth to it. So it'll be almost kind of like gessoing the whole thing. And at the same time, kind of still give it like that rustic kind of feeling. And it'll dry fast. So several bonuses. This also kind of allows me, I'm okay with white paint falling on the canvas. That's why I'm doing it over it. I'm hoping to maybe catch some splashes. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna water down some white paint and just kind of let some white paint glide here and there. Right? Why not? Might as well have fun with it. Where did I get what? I got it on Amazon, if that's what you're asking me. I got it on Amazon. I think I'm going to cut this little piece off. I was going to keep it in there, but I don't think I will. OK, so uh, this is kind of setting. Let me go ahead and spray this with some water. And let's tap some. Stay there. Everything is getting grappled up.
Move over a little thing. Uh, let me see. Let me do a little bit of this. I'm pulling some of this around. Just a little baby one. Let's do a little bit of this. Two rows, two wets. I love splashing paint. <laughs> I don't like the aftermath of the mess. <laughs> yes. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. I feel like adding black to it as well. So I might just do that. Grab some black and do the same thing. And kind of splash some of that black on here as well. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Let me move this over. Put that in the rinse. Let me put this baby over here. Let me add a little black spray. Not that one. This one. I'm going to add a little bit of this black ink here in the center. I love watching these things travel. I'm gonna turn this on now. Oh, that was for that, okay. Yeah, I think that'll pop out nicely. I'm trying to give this background a little bit more depth. So the white cage sticks out nicely, you know, from the back of it. While well, sitting on the front of it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. We're getting there, you guys. We're getting there. We're getting there. Think. 
The clear for me is my favorite. I've tried the pigmented ones, and they're okay, but um, my favorite is, is the clear ones. All the way around. Okay, so we have this. Now, you guys are probably wondering what the heck is this woman doing with a roll of, you know, roll of that. But that's going to actually go on the inside of the cage. At least that's what I was thinking. Let me just make sure that these are flat in nature so that I can stick them on properly. These tickets right here are actually, where's the, 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 the right here? I can do this with this. I just basically curled them, or I was curling them anyways, um, just to make them all kind of twirl out like this. And I'm gonna kind of stick them inside of the birdcage. And it kind of symbolizes that freedom sometimes is better than the golden ticket, even though the ticket's not gold. Although I should make it gold. I can definitely paint that ticket gold. <laughs> Should I paint that ticket gold? I should paint that ticket gold. I think it'll look so nice in there if I just paint the whole thing gold. What do you guys think? Should I paint the tickets gold? The tickets are going to go in here like this. The tickets stay trapped inside of the cage. It's going to go something like that, you know, once I fix it a little bit, kind of make it fit a little nicer. But something like that, you know. Art's got to mean something. <laughs> it already got paint on it, so like something like that is what I'm thinking. I like that. But should I paint the tickets gold? The cage is white. I didn't paint the silver, the, I just painted it white. <laughs> the silver wasn't really working for me too well. So I just um, took some white chalky paint and I just painted the whole thing white. What I will do to this, I'm probably gonna glue, I'm probably gonna add glue to this and I'm gonna add iridescent um, glitter to it. Like fine glitter. I think that that's what I'm gonna do with the cage since I'm not gonna really be painting it. I don't want it to be so, you know, just flat pale white. So I'm thinking that I'm probably going to use some of Deco Art's um, Glamour Dust glitter and just kind of go over that with a fine little sprinkle. I think it'll add some nice iridescence. And I'll also add some to like the flowers and stuff like that. Although I do want to add some black ink in here. Not everywhere, but just like some places. Everything okay? Yeah. Then I'm just going to spray it and just allow it to kind of do its thing. Just going to kind of allow it to do its thing, picking up on some of those crystals there. And it seems like I'm adding a lot, but I'm really not. Just allowing the, the lightest little bit to kind of um, there you go. Just making those connect right there. Um, so let me go ahead and hot dry this real quick. Been a lot of that today. Gold tickets, yeah. Have water first.
So this is still a little wet, but it's okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Yum, yum. <laughs> yes, and the tickets are gold. All right, let's work on these tickets. I am going to be adding, Um, well, let me work on this cage because I'm going to be adding some iridescent glitter, like I said. And I do have some trims here that I do want to incorporate into it. So this is why I took the, um, the little bowls out because I do want to kind of like, you know, just glam it up just a little bit. So I have a little bit of that and a little bit of this, which doesn't necessarily match. But that's okay with me because, again, I'll just add some gesso to it and um, add some inks to it. And I'll be okay with that. So I just kind of want to do something like this right along the bottom and then also add the trim along the, you know, the top and, and middle. So that's kind of what I want to do with that. So I'm going to put this to the side. And I kind of like it quite like this, to be honest with you. I really do. This screams me. <laughs> So um, let's go ahead and do that. And let me go ahead and get these tickets all rolled out. We already got paint on them and everything. I got little pellets everywhere. Let me get some gold paint so I can do this quickly. Let's see if I find that sheet of paper. Kind of use. Um, do, 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 do. do I have one here? And the answer is uh, no, you do not. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to do it like this. So, the first thing I'm gonna attempt to do, thank you, Lord Jesus, for allowing me to open the bottle, is to go ahead and paint the tickets. And we're gonna paint the tickets in gold. So they're still gonna show a little bit. You'll definitely still be able to see what they say. It's kind of sheer, this paint. I have um, paint that's more goldish than this, which is this one by Folk Art. Let's see. This one looks way more um, bold in color. So let's try this one. See if we can make them really gold. And this is called Treasure Gold. Um, and the color is gold. The brand of this kind of paint is called Treasure. Treasure Gold is the name of this paint. And the color is 3081E as an elephant. That's the number for this item right here if you're looking to um, purchase it. I want to collect the other colors as well. It has a little bit of a smell to it, you guys. So just be aware of that. It has a little bit of a smell. Um, nothing too, too major, but... If you're uber, uber sensitive and you're going to be using this in a lot of things, you definitely want to use this around some kind of ventilation. It's not just like regular paint. And my tickets got all messed up, but it's okay. It was part of the struggle. <laughs> That's how the bird got free. It fought with the ticket. With some pink on the ticket. So that's okay. I don't even know how I got these tickets to be honest with you. I just I'm looking through my drawers trying to figure out what to do today. And I saw these tickets and I'm like, hmm. Will you fit into the grand scheme of things? I don't know. I don't know. But we're gonna try. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna try to dry it real fast before I flip it over and do the other side. Because since they are going to be kind of twirled, or, you know, all twirled up, you are going to be able to see the back side of some of them. Okay, so we got that pretty much covered up. 
We have our golden tickets. Okay, let's cover this up real quick. We're going to be doing the other side, so let me just do this. Let me close this tight before I get everything dirty. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah. And you can still kind of see, I don't know if you guys can make it all the way, but you can totally kind of see what the words are still. All right. Let's flip it over and paint the back. And then we're going to do one more coat over the top just because I want them to be super, super gold. Um, this is going to be in there forever, basically. So I want that to be really shiny. On the back, I'm not so worried about... Um, you know, ha having a double coat because most of it you're not going to see since it's twirled onto itself. I just want it to be there for the little bits that you do get to see. But the front is what's more, most important. Let's dry this a little bit as well. One more coat, you guys, and then we're going to call this one done. And it's going to be really sticky onto itself. From what I can tell, it does leave kind of like a sticky little residue. That could just be my nails, too, because my nails is kind of like all glued up. So, But I really like the gold um, color. And they definitely do look like golden tickets, right? I like it. Um, I have some gold paint here, so let me just clean it off, whatever catches. They didn't catch a lot, but it did catch them. Okay, so did I dry this? Let me just give it a quick blast just in case I didn't. It's so shiny. Look at how that thing reflects light. Oh my goodness. You're about to be running out the door. Oh, you at work. Yes. All right. So we got our golden ticket. Again, I'm going to be rolling this thing up. 
I'm going to be kind of rolling these up. And the medium, the fact that I just painted them should actually help them to keep their shape a little longer. So I'm just going to keep this like this for now. Just kind of keep it there all rolled up. And let's work on this birdcage real quick. Should I paint the gold, the bird gold? I'm going to add the iridescent medium, I mean the iridescent um, glitters after I glue all this stuff down because I'm going to be just doing this part, or painting them white anyway, with all the layers, and then I'm going to be adding the iridescent glitter everywhere. And this trim is from Mona Migabi. If I didn't say that. Go ahead and cut this one off. Try to do this tiny little one right here. So is that yes to the bird? Paint the bird gold. Trim off all this excess. I also have some like little beads and stuff, um, little hearts that I want to add on there as well. If I find them, I took them out, but I don't know where I put them. Let's see. So I kind of like that. Once I paint that white, I think it'll all look really cute. And then definitely with the iridescent medium on it. All right, so I kind of like how that is looking right there. Let me just glue this little bit to this little bit right there. Everything glued onto itself. My on stick. On stick. Just going a little bit down. Okay. All right. Are we ready for the iridescent medium? We shall be in about a second. I need to add some white paint to my thing. And I forgot. So I need to get a brush. 
but I have not dirtied up yet. What do I have? I got this one. So just gonna dab the paint right into it. Normally you would gesso this or something like that first. This paint is chalky, so it's very, you know, gesso-ish, gesso-like in a way. When it comes to being opaque and things like that. So you can kind of get away with uh, using this without having to use gesso. Okay. Now, because those are delicate little trims, you don't you might not want to heat set it too much because they can melt. It's all made from recycled plastic. So be very careful and very quick when you're applying the heat tool to this to dry it up. I gotta use my finger behind it so I can get the paint all the way around the whole thing. So today is definitely one of those let me get my hands dirty projects. But I think not too shabby for Dollar Tree, um, Dollar General items. Sorry, I keep saying Dollar Tree. I'm so used to it being Dollar Tree and not Dollar General. This is new for me, you guys. Um, but I really like it. I think it looks really cute, especially the way that it's coming out. So I'm going to heat dry this and then glue this thing in place. Add some iridescent glitter all over the place. The iridescent glitter that I'm going to be using is by Deco Art as well. And it's glamour dust and it's a fine glitter and it's called ice crystal ice i just sometimes change the containers just because it's easier for me to use um you know all right so we got it we got it okay i think that's about it for that let me just dry this real quickly Start applying glue. So the bird is a yes, right? Let's see. Let me go ahead and add paint this bird in gold. So let's go ahead and add, let's see, where's our glue? Where's our glue bottle right here? So we're going to go ahead and add in some glue. I'm gonna get like a cheap, cheap brush. And kind of just like rub that glue in. I don't want like super massive, big clumps of glitter. So I'm gonna try to disperse this uh, as much as I can. And I have to get something to pour that into. Let's 
So let's do this. And let's do this. Let's keep adding more. And any glue really doesn't matter which glue you use. Just make sure you spread that glue that glue out. I'll cut that part off. I forgot to cut that off. Okay. Let's add more. I have to pull out the other bottle. Okay, let's add more glue. So this part and then the top part and then we'll be done with this part. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good, girl. I'm already past that stage. <laughs> We're actually almost done with this piece. What time is it? Yep. Almost done with it. Yeah. And I definitely got to go over the bird, right? With some iridescence, because come on now. How the bird gonna look like he don't shine? He gotta shine. He's got gold, but he's gotta shine as well. Now we're just gonna heat set this. So let's heat this. Uh, let's heat set this and see where we are, and then we can start gluing everything together, and we'll be done. And I'll chop off that little piece. Is annoying me. It's like a glitter bomb over here. All right, so this is what it looks like. Now look at my dirty little hands. This sparkles so nicely. I love it. So let's go ahead and make some room on this messy desk of mine to put, put it in right here. 
I'm going to have a lot of scrubbing to do today. So let's see, I got my glue gun on. Let's put that to the side right there. Let's get these tickets in here. Just unravel them just a little bit. Yeah, we knew that there was going to be some sticking. Now, I don't know if I like it so much. Isn't that crazy? Let's put them. Maybe that's why. They're too big, too much at the same time. There we go. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let me just look at this real quick. Okay. So let me see. I just make sure that the space that I have is enough. I'm just rolling it onto itself just to kind of catch a little bit of, you know, style to it, if you will. Yeah, I like that, like that. So let's see where we glue this baby up. So we gotta make sure that it's centered. I'm totally going to um, add some other glue to these little areas where I'm adding the, the hot glue to, just so that I make sure that everything is not going to fall apart later on. I feel like I need gold now in some places, I guess, just to kind of bring them all together.
Make sure to check out my Facebook page and my Instagram page if you would like to see what these um what this is gonna look like up close. I'll be sharing it there. Not a little bit there on the stick, just to give it a little bit of something, something. But I really do like how this came out. I am basically done, you guys. Yay! I know it's very long to kind of put it all into perspective, but I'm going to see if you guys can basically see it like this. And I'm going to see if I find a chip work quote to add in there just to kind of uh, give it some kind of a title. Oops, a daisy. I'm about to have a huge mess on my desk, more than what I already have. So let's see. I like this one. This is one of a kind. Now on my work for me. How about salvaged? Does that make sense? <laughs> I mean, I did kind of, you know, choose to shine. I like that because I added some gold in there. I think that looks kind of works out for me. So I'm going to go ahead and um, glue this right in there. Because that is what some of us choose to do. And this birdie right here is no exception. So I'm going to see if I can bring it to you guys so you can see. Hello, hello, Jackie. So I left the twine that it came with. You guys know it came wrapped up with some twine. Um, originally had the word fall written on the front um, with some really, really thick compressed, you know, like that compressed wood. I took all of that stuff just to leave me with the plank. Um, I did add some texture on this by using a doily, um, and like an actual doily and using some texture paint by Deco Art. And basically I got a nice little um, textured background behind there. To add more texture to that, what I did is that I used some of this um, ribbon right here. It's very pretty, silvery, and glittery. But I did take some of that glittery, um, glittery shininess, you know, kind of away. We used uh, a couple different colors here, like dark scarlet. We also used baby pink. We used some black, um, some carbon. We also used some white. We also used um, folk arts uh, treasure gold. And we also use a little bit of Deco Arts Glorious Gold as well. I did um, apply some of the waxes to this. Not too much wax, it's just a little bit of waxing, but I did apply some waxes to that. All the flowers in the bottom are DIY flowers, basically all handmade flowers except for the two metal pieces right here and the two leaves, well, the four leaves. But other than that, we are finito, you guys. I love the way it came out. Like I said, if you want to see more in depth of what this looks like, make sure that you check out my Facebook page. I'm going to be posting pictures of this project once I'm done with this live. Also, you can check out my Instagram. It's at Design Elemental. On my Facebook, it's Elemental Designs Crafter 1. Okay, you guys? Thank you all so much for being here. I will see you guys on Wednesday for Lap Book Adventures and more. Well, we'll be finishing up, I believe, um, with this lap book. It's almost it's almost completely done so i can't wait to share with you guys what i've done so far and also finish up on the last little bits have a great great weekend everybody thank you so much for the love and the support i do greatly appreciate it if you have not hit that like button don't forget to do that if you have not subscribed don't forget don't forget to do that and if you're watching this video after it's live then please make sure you drop down a comment below let me know that you will see i really appreciate it thank you guys and i'll catch you on the next one bye